everybody let's start the first chapter transmission of coordinates we actually uh, studied this kind of transmission in in our 11 and 12 level school level geometry so in this kind of transmission that is actually called the translation process translation means without changing the direction of the coordinate axis that means x axis and y axis we generally shift the origin from the old position to the new position and uh, this kind of uh, transformation is called translation and uh, this is the transmission formula x is equal to x prime plus h or x prime is equal to x minus h and y is equal to y prime plus k or y prime is equal to uh, y minus k so these are the transformation formula that you know uh, already in 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 from the from your class maybe class 11 or 12 hmm? so i'm not going to dis discuss the detail of this kind of form these are called translation form but uh, apart from uh, this kind of formula we have one more formula that is called the uh, rotation process the rotational transformation hmm? this is the rotational transformation over here what we do we do not change the position of origin rather keeping this origin fixed we rotate this uh, x-axis and y-axis by an angle theta. Okay, we rotate the x-axis and y-axis by an angle theta. So over here, x and uh, capital X and capital Y, these are uh, the old uh, coordinate axis. And after rotation of these two coordinate axis by an angle theta, and remember theta is generally measured in anti-clockwise direction that is the general convention sometimes we measure them in uh, clockwise direction as well but the anti-clockwise direction is generally uh, taken as the positive direction of measuring this kind of angles okay so over here uh, these x and y these two are the old uh, coordinate axis and this x prime and this y prime these are new coordinate axis and uh, the angle between this uh, OX and OX prime, these two straight lines, this angle is equal to theta. And therefore, we can say that the angle between uh, the old and new Y axis, this angle should also be equal to theta. Got it? And we now consider a point P. We consider a point P arbitrarily, any point P, and suppose. Uh, small x and small y these are the old coordinates uh, of the point p and small x prime and small y prime these are the new coordinates of the point p here so same point we are not changing this uh, point p but uh, with respect to this uh, old and new coordinate axis the coordinates of the point p uh, would uh, generally change and how to measure the x and y coordinates suppose uh, if you consider this x coordinate what is x coordinate x coordinate of p means that we have to draw a perpendicular line on these two stay on these two coordinate axis and then this much length this much length o n that would be is equal to the uh, x coordinate and this much height from p to n this much height would be is equal to the y coordinate axis so pn this much distance is equal to our small y and on this much this on this much length on this much length is equal to our uh, small x coordinates so similarly we can uh, we can compute the uh, new coordinates and that means uh, with respect to the new coordinates of the point p how to measure these new coordinates on this new x axis what we did in the first case on the old x axis we uh, we did uh, draw a, a perpendicular line so over here on this new x axis that means x prime axis we can again draw a perpendicular line just like pm hmm? from the point p we can draw a perpendicular line that would be pm straight line and uh, this much length starting from the point o this much length from the point o to the point m this much length would be is equal to our y prime hmm. and um, this much length from the point p not to y prime so, sorry i made uh, a mistake 
that would be is equal to our x prime hmm. that would be our small x prime and this much perpendicular length uh, this much that would be our y prime got it so just similar to the previous technique we can draw a perpendicular line from this point p to this point m hmm. and uh, in that case this distance om this distance om becomes the x prime coordinate that means in this one x prime and this perpendicular distance pm that would be our y prime coordinates so in this way we uh, compute the, the old and new coordinates of a single point p hmm. of a single point p we can compute this x and this uh, old and new uh, x y coordinates got it now the question is that what is the relation in between these four coordinates one is x y another is x prime y prime what is the relation uh, in between these four quantities now in order to find out the relation over here let me show you the computational portion and in order to show the computation let me firstly uh, split the screen so that uh, it would be easy for me as well to explain the computational portion suppose this is the this is the picture hmm? hopefully it is visible to you all this is the picture hmm? and uh, on this left side let me show you the computational portion over here hmm? so what we have we we got this much result that uh, this much distance om this much distance om this is actually our x prime hmm. so this is our om om is equal to this x prime and this similarly this pm this is actually our y prime got it so you can observe that pm is equal to y prime now uh, what is x over here x is equal to this much starting from o to n this much was equal to x so x is equal to this o n now you see this o n this o n can be considered as equal to this distance o k minus this distance n k or k n so we can write this x is equal to o k minus n k got it now uh, how to compute uh, ok hmm. starting from o to k if you consider ok you see if you consider this triangle the triangle o k m clear and what is this uh, this distance starting from o to m that this distance is equal to our x prime all right and uh, ok ok is and this ok this is actually we can say this is actually the base of the triangle okn with respect to this angle theta hmm? so if you consider cos of theta cos of theta that cos theta would be is equal to base ok divided by uh, divided by this hypotenuse x prime so divided by x prime got it therefore what is ok ok can be multiplied by this x prime and cos of theta ok can be written as x prime into cos of theta all right this distance ok can be written as x prime into cos of theta that's why in case of ok we write x prime cos of theta all right See, next uh, if you want to consider this nk this distance nk this distance this distance nk this much distance this much distance is equal to the distance tm or mt hmm. so in place of nk we can write mt okay now what is mt now in order to compute the expression of mt you, you can check uh, this uh, triangle p t and then m ptm now uh, you see if this is the uh, if this is the angle theta if this is the angle theta 
hmm? then this angle you see over here this angle this angle should also be theta clear and therefore this angle this angle this angle pmt this angle would be is equal to this angle would be is equal to this angle this angle would be is equal to pi by 2 minus theta as because this angle is equal to theta this angle uh, tmo this angle is equal to theta so this difference should this angle should be is equal to pi by 2 minus theta now as because this is pi by pi by 2 minus theta therefore this angle that this angle should be is equal to theta the angle t p m the angle situated at the point p this angle must be is equal to our theta angle hmm. so this theta and this theta both are same now let me clear it now over here you see with respect to this uh, angle theta with respect to this angle theta hmm, you see the base would be this straight line this straight line the angle adjacent to the angle theta hmm, the side pt adjacent to the angle theta this side is would be the base and this side would be the hypotenuse okay and this side would be perpendicular actually you see this and this tri this triangle ptm we can consider this triangle ptm in this fashion we can draw this kind of triangle say this is one side maybe this is another side and maybe this is the third side got it so hmm, maybe this is the third side and over here this point this point may be considered as the point p this uh, is the uh, line and this is the point t and this is the point m and this angle at the situated at the point p this is actually our theta got it so with respect to this theta this much distance pt is actually the base and this much would be is equal to the perpendicular got it and this much what was uh, pm this much pm pm was equal to this much length this much height this is actually y prime got it so we can say that this pm is actually our y prime well got it and therefore if we want to compute cos of theta hmm, let me first compute sin theta because we are interested in this uh, in this distance pt Hmm. and uh, what is sin theta sin theta sin of theta sin of theta that is actually that would be is equal to uh, we are interested in mt this height mt hmm. so perpendicular mt perpendicular mt divided by uh, the angle uh, sorry divided by the hypotenuse y prime got it so mt is equal to y mt is equal to y prime sin theta okay mt would be is equal to y prime multiplied by sin theta cross multiplication got it so mt is equal to y prime sin theta where is mt this is our mt so over here we put mt is equal to y prime sin theta got it therefore what we have uh, we ultimately got the relation that x this x this x this small x is equal to x prime cos theta minus y prime sin theta so we have expressed small x in terms of x prime and y prime and of course theta would appear over here because theta is the common uh, property that is the angle of rotation of the uh, old and new coordinate axis hmm. so this is the um this is the relation in between x and x prime y prime now we want to find out similar relation in between y and y prime x prime y prime how to compute y what is y y is equal to this much height y is equal to this much height p p n hmm. y is equal to our height p n this is our p n height now you see this pn this pn can be written as this length pt uh, plus this length 
uh, a Tn, hmm. so Tn plus Pt, got it? Now what is uh, Tn? This Tn can be considered over here as uh, the uh, this uh, distance Mk, clear? Hmm. So in place of Tn, we are writing in Mk. In place of Tn, we are writing Mk. Okay. And uh, how to compute Pt? Over here, you see, uh, if you consider cos of theta over here in this uh, triangle, in this triangle, over here, if you consider cos of cos of theta, hmm, cos of theta, then how to compute cos of theta? You see this distance Pt. Hmm. Pt, this distance base, this is actually the base of the triangle, Ptm, divided by hypotenuse. What is hypotenuse? Hypotenuse is equal to y prime. Alright, so divided by y prime. Clear? Therefore, what is Pt? Pt would be is equal to this y prime multiplied by this cos theta. So, you see over here, in place of Pt, in place of this Pt, we can write y prime cos theta. Got it. So in this way, we compute the expression of Pt. Pt becomes is equal to y prime cos of theta. Now, what about this distance mk? Let me uh, let me uh, compute the expression of mk. Hmm. How to compute the expression of mk? And in order to compute the expression of this uh, this length mk, you again consider uh, this triangle O m k you again consider this triangle o m k and in this triangle this angle theta hmm. with respect to this angle theta this uh, this is the this is the base fine and then what is this this is actually the perpendicular distance and this uh, and this length this length from o to m what is this length this length is actually our x prime. This length is actually the uh, hypotenuse. Therefore, if you want to compute sine of theta from this triangle, if you want to compute sine of theta, then sine theta would be is equal to the perpendicular mk. Hmm. The perpendicular mk divided by divided by this x prime. Got it? Perpendicular mk divided by the hypotenuse x prime. X prime. Clear? So, what is mk? mk would be is equal to x prime multiplied by sine theta. That's why we have written, they have written mk is equal to x prime multiplied by sine of theta. Clear? So, in this way, we compute the expression of mk mk is equal to x prime sine of theta all right and therefore uh, you see the expression of y what is y y is equal to over here y is equal to x prime sine theta plus y prime cos theta hmm. uh, or in other words over here y is equal to x prime sine theta plus y prime cos theta over here you see this is the transformation formula for y and what was the transformation formula of x? This is this was the transformation formula of x. x is equal to x prime cos theta minus y prime sine theta. Therefore, x is equal to over here we have x prime cos theta minus y prime sine theta. So this is the transformation formula uh, we got um, from uh, x prime y prime to x y. Hmm. So in this way, we got the transformation formula from x prime y prime. That means if we know the x prime y prime coordinates, then we can compute the x y coordinates by this kind of transformation formula. This is uh, this is written as the equation number one. By this kind of transformation formula, we can uh, obtain uh, the trans uh, transformation from uh, x y to uh, x prime y prime to x y. Now, what about the converse transformation formula? You see, I, I want we want to find out the converse formula. That means, suppose if we know the values of x, y, how can you compute the values of 
x prime and y prime okay if we know the values of x y the old coordinates then how can we compute the values of these new coordinates x prime y prime that can be done uh, you see over here uh, let me firstly delete this one hmm. that can be done by um, by this kind of formula you see over here we can eliminate uh, we can eliminate from this this relation number 1 we can eliminate uh, any one expression suppose uh, from these two relations if we want to eliminate y prime hmm, if we want to eliminate y prime then what we need to do uh, what, what we need to do we need to firstly multiply this equation by cos of theta hmm we need to firstly multiply this equation by cos of theta and this second equation by sin of theta here we multiply the first relation by cos of theta and second relation by sin of theta and as because this is a negative sign and this is positive sign so after multiplication we need to add them then we will we'll, uh, then we will be able to eliminate y prime then what result we shall have you see uh, if we uh, multiply the first relation by cos of theta then on the left side we will have x cos of theta on the left hand side we will have x cos of theta and uh, x square into cos square theta minus xy sin theta cos theta hmm. And if we multiply this second relation, if we multiply this second relation by sine theta, then on the left hand side we will have y prime sine theta uh, plus x square sine square theta hmm, plus x uh, plus y prime sine theta cos theta. So if we add these two term, this uh, term related y prime sine theta cos theta with this negative sign y prime sine theta cos theta plus uh, this y prime sin theta cos theta these two terms will get cancelled hmm? these two terms will get cancelled and ultimately on the left hand side if we add them we shall have x cos theta plus y sin theta that is this expression over here from this term from the first relation we have on the left hand side x cos theta so this is the term x cos theta and from this uh, equation on the uh, left hand side we will have y sin theta so we have y sin theta now if we add this this expression this expression with this expression hmm, then what we have x prime cos square theta plus x prime sine square theta that means x prime can be taken common this x prime can, can be taken common hmm. so we shall have simply cos square theta plus sine square theta cos square theta plus sine square theta is actually is equal to 1 so only expression we shall have x prime that would be the only non vanishing expression so that is actually is equal to this x prime got it and uh, in this way we will be able to deduce this relation x prime is equal to x cos theta plus y sin theta so in this way we uh, eliminate uh, the expression of y prime got it we eliminate the expression of y prime and we get a relation x prime is equal to x cos theta plus y sin theta Similarly, if we want to eliminate uh, the relation, um, if we want to eliminate x prime, we can eliminate x prime, just uh, um, multiply this uh, expression by sine theta, hmm. multiply this expression by sine theta and the second equation by cos theta and subtract the first relation from the second relation. Then after such manipulation, we will have a similar result and we we'll get this result y prime is equal to minus x sine theta plus y cos theta hmm. so y prime is equal to minus x sine theta plus y cos theta that is the expression of y prime in terms of small x and small y clear therefore what we get we actually obtain a opposite kind of relation you see if we know the expression of x prime and y prime then from this equation given by um, these two relations given by equation number one uh, we can find the values of 
small x and small y. Got it? And uh, conversely, in relation number 2, we observe that whenever we know the values of x and y, hmm, we would be able to compute the values of x prime and y prime, just opposite kind of result. Hmm. So, opposite kind of relation is actually the relation number 2. Got it? And uh, in this relation number 1 and 2, in this relation number 1 and 2, we can uh, convert these two relations. Actually, we have four relations. This, two relations in uh, this equation number 1 and two relations in this equation number 2. We actually have four relations. And all these four relations can now be combined into uh, the form of a, uh, of a table or a matrix, a, a table-like form that is uh, useful to remember this form. Hmm. And what is this form? Uh, let me uh, split this uh, screen over here again hmm. for you. So these are the four relations, relation number one and relation number two. And over here, you consider this kind of um, table. Hmm. Uh, in this kind of table, we consider a two, uh, two by two, mainly a two by two or three by three uh, matrix or uh, table. Hmm, with three rows and three columns and over here firstly in this uh, column heading we write the new coordinates hmm, x prime and y prime and in this row headings over here we write the old coordinates hmm, x and y got it now uh, if we want to find out the expression of x prime in terms of these two old coordinates hmm, then how can we find, you see, x prime can be written as x into cos of theta plus y into sine of theta. Just try to match with this expression. x into cos of theta plus y into sine of theta. That gives us the relation x prime. Hmm. Similarly, we can compute y prime. What is y prime? Y, y prime, this y prime is equal to x into minus sine theta got it x into minus sine theta that means minus x sine theta and uh, the, uh, along with that uh, what you need to do we need to add the second term y into cos of theta got it so we have y cos theta so in this way we would be able to compute the expression of y prime got it and similarly uh, if you uh, want to compute the expression of x, say this expression, this expression of x, what is x? x is equal to this x. This x would be is equal to x prime into cos of theta plus y prime into minus sine of theta. Actually, the second term would have in that case a negative symbol over here due to this negative symbol. Hmm. So, what we finally have? x is equal to x prime cos theta minus y prime sin theta. This is the expression x prime cos theta minus y prime sin theta. Similarly, if you want to consider the expression of y, y is equal to x prime into sin theta plus y prime into cos theta. Hmm? So, x prime cos theta, x prime sin theta plus y prime cos theta. You see x prime sin theta plus y prime cos theta that it gives us the expression of y. So, if you if you can remember this table hmm, and uh, where, where is the position of these uh, old coordinates and where is uh, this new coordinates and where is the position of these old coordinates, this much is uh, sufficient. Hmm, if you can remember this table, then it would be easier for you uh, in subsequent computation to deduce this kind of formula. Got it? So, that was the first part that I wanted to discuss. Now, it may some, uh, so happen that sometimes you, uh, you consider translation and rotation both. For example, um, suppose uh, you have this kind of, this kind of coordinate axis. Hmm. And uh, after uh, this, uh, uh, firstly, you may consider a translation, this kind of translation, say this is, uh, this is the second kind of coordinate axis, suppose. And after translation, you consider a 
rotation like this hmm. this kind of rotation may appear maybe this kind of rotation so we can say that uh, suppose uh, this is the this is the old uh, coordinate x and this is y coordinate hmm. and suppose after transformation we get this kind of formula capital x and say capital y hmm. and uh, then we uh, we rotate the coordinate axis uh, at an angle theta got it then suppose this angle the finally we get the expression of x prime and the expression of y prime hmm. so uh, in this kind of relation you see firstly in case of translation in case of translation what we can say we can say that this x this x is equal to x this small x minus h hmm. uh, or we can write it in this fashion this um, small, capital x plus okay in this way uh, small x uh, minus h or you can then say capital y this capital y rather let me write uh, over here this capital y hmm, this capital y is equal to that would be is equal to small y minus k clear now if you consider uh, this uh, portion only this much hmm, this much part if you consider this much figure this much figure try, try to con concentrate on this figure only hmm. now within this box this capital x and capital y this capital x and capital y behave like old coordinates about this uh, rotation on if you consider the rotation this capital x and capital y would behave like old coordinates got it and uh, this x prime and this y prime these two coordinates axes are the old coordinate axis are the new coordinate axis after rotation hmm. before rotation and after rotation so if we consider uh, the previous formula hmm, just uh, we uh, considered this picture over here so there you would find that in place of small x and uh, small y we will have capital x this capital x and capital y these are the uh, old coordinates and small x and this uh, x prime and y prime are the uh, new coordinates got it so what would be the expression of capital x capital x would be is equal to x prime cos theta minus y prime sin theta got it so capital x would be is equal to over here you see x prime this x prime into cos theta over here x prime into cos of theta hmm. x prime into cos of theta hmm. minus what we have minus y prime into sine of theta so minus y prime into sine of theta what it that would be the uh, expression of capital similarly we can uh, obtain the expression of capital y capital y what would be capital y capital y is equal to x, x prime sin theta plus y prime cos theta hmm. so capital y is equal to x prime sin theta x prime sin theta hmm, sin theta plus y prime cos theta is y prime cos of theta got it so you see now uh, if we suppress this middlemost uh, expressions that is, that is the this is the expression of uh, capital x if we just uh, suppress this expression of capital x hmm, say this uh, capital x if you suppress this expression of capital x hmm, and this uh, expression of capital y got it if you suppress um, these expressions of capital x and capital y ultimately what you would you get you would be able to write x in terms of this left hand side plus this h so this h can be taken on the left hand side 
similarly this y this small y can be shifted on the right hand side so small y is equal to this kind of expression this kind of expression hmm, plus k so small y can be written in this way this kind of expression plus k what i am trying to say is that ultimately you will be able to get the relation in between the most old coordinate and most new coordinate hmm? the most old coordinate was x and y and the most new coordinate was x prime and y prime the intermediate coordinates were capital x and capital y we suppressed them and ultimately if we write p is equal to cos of theta and this q this q is equal to sin of theta in that case you see that uh, expression of x can be written in this way p x prime minus q y prime plus h and uh, y can be written as q x prime plus p y prime plus k got it and p is equal to cos theta and q is equal to sin theta therefore this cos square theta plus sin square theta this expression p square plus q square that should be is equal to 1 hmm. So the general transformation formula where the translation and rotation both are involved, this general transformation formula can be written in this way. Hmm. And this kind of transformation formula are called rigid body transformation or the orthogonal transformation. Rigid body transformation or orthogonal transformation. Why rigid body transformation? Because, uh, uh, because we know that in case of rigid body, hmm, the distance between two points, if we consider a rigid body, a very rigid body, like a solid, the distance between two points, this distance, this distance between two points does not change as per the transformation formula is concerned. Because you see the transformation formula is actually or the choice of coordinate system is actually related to a mathematic, uh, related to a particular personnel who can perform their mathematical, his or her mathematical calculation and depending upon the mathematical calculation, the real life situation should not be changed, isn't it? Because uh, suppose there is a cricket match and the distance between uh, the two creases is uh, 22 yards hmm? and uh, whether you uh, me measure it in terms of yard or in terms of meter or something else or whether you use uh, any um, rectangular Cartesian coordinate axis or any polar coordinate axis, the uh, game in between uh, two, uh, two teams would not be changed, would not be affected. So it is actually the problem of a mathematician, not the problem of a particular uh, player. So um, they would play the game of cricket according to their skill. Got it? Just the transformation formula, this kind of formula has been introduced uh, in order to simplify the problem of mathematics. Hmm? So mathematical uh, rigor can be simplified by uh, this kind of transformation formula. And uh, over here, uh, the geometry should be developed in such a way that whenever we have a rigid body, you see just by considering a geometry, if the distance between two points, if the, this distance between two points uh, gets changed, then we would say that um, the geometry is, is not consistent with the physical fact because in some coordinate axis this distance is equal to maybe 2 cm yeah, and in some other coordinate axis this may, distance may be some uh, maybe 4 cm that should not be done, isn't it? So the distance between two points should not be changed and uh, we can prove that uh, that uh, by this kind of transmission formula, hmm, the distance between two points does not change at all. That's why this kind of transmission formula are called orthogonal or uh, rigid body transmission formula. This is the main reason behind them. And uh, we can also prove the result uh, why, uh, how did we get this kind of result that uh, the distance between two problems are not changing at all. Got it? So that is the technique uh, that we shall uh, discuss in the next class, not today. Hmm? How mm, the distance between two points uh, do not change and etc. and the remaining other computations are also there. There are, there are few se several other uh, 
uh, quantities uh, the value of which do not change uh, under this kind of transformation formula hmm? uh, these are called invariant quantities so distance between two points is also an invariant quantity hmm? so that would be discussed in the next class clear so thank you for being with me in this class